everybody, welcome to my next at home experiment called the lava lamp. This is an easy, quick one that you should be able to do with your kids if they are just driving you nuts and you need something to do with them, or if you're just bored and you wanna do some science. This is a really fun, quick one that you can do. So what you need for this is a one liter plastic soda bottle. Honestly, any soda bottle will work, but I like to use the one liter ones. Um, you're gonna need some food coloring. You need a one to one mixture of oil to water. So I use about 400 milliliters or about two cups of oil and water. In my book, I recommend using baby oil, but I don't have any baby oil right now in my house, so I'm actually using oil that I found out in my garage, which is disgusting, but it still works. <laughs> so a one-to-one -one mixture of oil to water. Um, I'm actually gonna use a funnel. You don't have to use a funnel, but I like to use it when I'm adding my next ingredient, which are my Alka-Seltzer tablets. So you need to have at least one Alka-Seltzer tablet. I actually like to use four, and I crush them up in a mortar and pestle. You do not have to do that. You can just crush them up with your bare hands, but if you happen to have a mortar and pestle around, go ahead and grind them up just because it makes it easier later. All right, so for the fun part. First things first, grab your soda bottle. Then you're gonna take your water and add your water to it. Like I said, I'm using about 400 milliliters, but you can use whatever ratio you want. If you have a two liter soda bottle, you're probably gonna wanna use more water and more oil. So once you get all of your water in, then you're gonna add your food coloring. I picked blue today just cause that's what I grabbed out of my food coloring bag, but you can use whatever one you want. Then you're going to swoosh it up. Make it a homogenous mixture here. So we're just adding the food coloring, making sure it's completely dissolved into that water. Then the next part is you're gonna add your oil. Okay, again, one to one ratio. So I used about 400 mils, so I'm gonna use 400 milliliters here. You should expect to see an emulsion form. So right here where the two layers are mixing, you're gonna see what's referred to as an emulsion. And emulsion is just when you've got two different mixtures that have either two different densities or two different polarities. And in this instance, we have both. So oil is considered to be a non-polar molecule and water is considered to be a polar molecule. So when they come together, they do not mix. In addition, water is actually heavier or it's more dense than oil. So when they come together, they separate, the water goes on the bottom and the oil goes on the top. But in the beginning, you get kind of an emulsion right there at the top. So you actually see those blue dots that are suspended in the air. So I'm gonna pause my video here and let it sit for about 10 minutes because I wanna make sure that you see this a perfect lava lamp. So, pause. Hey guys, it's been about eight minutes, um, a little bit over eight minutes, and I'm starting to see good enough separation that I am ready to go on to the next step. Um, so again, what I'm looking for is for this layer right here, where the oil and the water to meet, to be like a very thin concrete layer, so you can clearly see the difference between the oil and the water. Now my favorite part, which is why I have a hard time waiting for the layer to separate, um, is I get to add the tablets, these Alka-Seltzer tablets. So we're gonna grab these right here, use the funnel to dump them right in, and what we're gonna see is as the Alka-Seltzer tablets hit the water, we're gonna start to release carbon dioxide gas. And what happens is these tablets actually grab the water at the bottom, you can see it there. So it starts to grab the water at the bottom that's dyed blue, it brings it up to the top, and then when the bubbles hit to the top, they actually pop. So when the carbon dioxide hits the top right here, they pop, and then it allows for that water to drip all the way back down. And so you have a super active lava lamp. You can actually do this over and over and over again. I have a lava lamp that I have right over here. I'm gonna grab it right over here. This is what I made last week that I keep using and it's super fun. I just wanted to make a new one for you guys so you could see. But honestly, you can use as many Alka-Seltzer tablets as you have and it'll keep going over and over and over again. Um, so two layers of science here. You've got density, um, a little bit of polarity there as well. So I guess three things. And then you've got your Alka-Seltzer tablets where your carbon dioxide is going to the top, popping, and then it's allowing for those blue water droplets to go all the way down to the bottom. Cool, right? If you like that, you can check out more experiments from my book, Kate the Chemist, Big Book of Experiments. There's 25 experiments in there that are awesome. And now, of course, I've covered this in oil, but that's okay. Have a good one, guys. Stay healthy. 